Hello Internet. It's been a while since we had an Emma sidecar here, so today is your lucky day. It looks like this girl had been around the block for a while and finally decided to settle down. She's an MSI 3070 Ventus. Today my plan is to increase her body count by one more and then send her back the way she came after I'm done. That's what you need to do when she asks for more money than she's worth. So this piece was supposed to cool these driver MOSFETs and the screws and thermal pads are missing and I will have to do something about that later. Memory MOSFETs are cooled with this cancerous growth that is as effective as you keeping your finger on it. Some signs of physical abuse, that's always a plus, knowing that she not only comes with baggage, but also with psychological trauma as well. Not knowing her mental state, let's perform some basic sanity checks, starting with the 12 volt, where we get several kilo ohms. 3.3 with 100k, 1.8 with 1.5k, Hex with 10 ohms, 5 volt with 4k plus, memory with 80, and these two are kilo ohms. Okay, she's not crazy, but not exactly normal. I mean, she's here, and no good girls ever get here if you know what I mean. It looks like her ability to communicate the output data lines is okay, but is she able to listen? And according to my measurements of the data input lines, she can listen. And her clock reference looks okay, so that means she knows what time it is. PEX reset also looks good, means she's not going to be playing hide and seek. Okay, so now let's power her on and see how hungry she is. Looks like 1.3 amps. 5 volt is there, 1.8 volt is there, PEX is there, which means memory and core are also there. I find this suspicious that everything is looking good, but let's boot into Windows and maybe we can see her true colors. Since she's pretending to be dead, I configured my motherboard to use her as a side chick. And once drivers were installed, it became obvious that she remembers her name and where she came from, but nothing of her dirty past, which means we need to run a memory test, which says that the device is not found. Even LSPCI does not list anything. Almost as if she doesn't know who she is. Let's do the easy stuff first by reading her mind. This is what her mind looks like. No man in the world could understand any of that, and no wonder, after what she's been through. So let's go into one of those GPU dating sites where we can find proper mindset. And hopefully we can turn her back into a wife material. Not without issues of course, but at the very least we will be able to talk to her. Since her body is on a large side of spectrum, you know, thick layers of fat resistance prevented me from flashing the chip directly on board. Which means I had to use one of them adapters you get with your flashing device. Once flashed, let's put her mind back into her body so the two become one again and power her on and see if she identifies herself as the creator's intended. There she is. We now know her name, but uh, she has some memory problems, probably caused by all those drugs she took when she was younger. After memory analysis, it turns out she had a daddy issues on channel C0, so let's remove that and see what we get.
And as I was poking around, one of the lines was not reading correctly. This line is connected to the resistor that's supposed to be 1K. I'll go ahead and check the chip itself for any possible signs of life by testing all the data pads. And once I finish testing, I think this chip has a chance of survival. It would be nice if I could save a few bucks for the customer, but only time will tell. I will slap that thing back on. Hopefully heat treatment has erased all those bad memories of the past. And with that in mind, let's power it on and still no image. Okay, so let's go ahead and address the problem with the resistor. This particular one, if we look really close, you can tell it's cracked. Talk about getting smacked by a boyfriend. Jeez. Anyway, let's put in a new one. And that looks good enough, I think. Now let's try to boot again, and... Still no image. Why? I guess this chip is bad after all, so let's remove it. For the 10th time, let's try to power it on again and see what happens. Still no picture, and if I run it as a secondary, it shows errors on a completely different chip. Why? What is wrong with her? Why can't you stick to her original issue? This, ladies and gentlemen, is a mental condition called brain detachment from reality. She literally has her balls no longer attached to the board. When she gets hot or cold, you know the hot flashes, connections temporarily break, causing issues like that. So let's remove her head, give her a new set of balls, maybe they will help to get her attached to the reality once again, who knows. Once the surgery is over, let's turn her on again and see if she's back to normal. And nope, still the same problem. It's times like these when you realize you should have done a proper visual inspection before jumping in bed with her. Because look here, we are missing two resistors. The resistors here are supposed to be 121 ohms, so let's put them on. If I remember correctly, her ex-boyfriend tried to cool her down with a water block. And when that happens, usually the components that are around the mountain holes get knocked off. And now that those are back on, for the 50th time, let's try to power her on and... Finally, she says hi by passing the memory test. Before we give her any real test, I'll apply some pads. Not my favorite thing to do, of course. I think they should take care of their pads related issues themselves, if you know what I mean. But I guess this one is special, so we're gonna treat her as such. And with her fully dressed up, 
we turn her on by simply pushing a button. Wouldn't that be great if we could turn them on with the push of a button? Getting sidetracked here. Uh, we continue with farm work to make sure she can perform in the heat of the situation, which it seems like she can. Then we're gonna move her into a play state where she can play games with us. And as you can see, she can. They all can. They call us players, but who is the game? Who are we playing here, guys? Them. In any case, this love story came to an end. I hope you learned something from this video, and if so, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you need a repair, feel free to contact me using the link in the description. Goodbye.